Good morning, BrewTubers. I'm going to do a smash beer today that I've been talking about for a couple weeks now. So, simple recipe. 10 pounds of Maris Otter, um, and then bittering and finishing and dry hopping with Cascade. So, getting started this morning, and apparently I was a little bit lazy last time I brewed because... Uh, that's filthy. It's gross. That's my mash tun. I'm in the house right now. I'm going to stick this sucker in the bathtub and clean it out. I think I might uh, might give it some OxyClean and then actually bleach it out. It definitely needs it. Pretty soon it's going to be time for a new mash tun, I think. Anyhow, I'll get to work on that. Strike water is out there heating on the brew stand. And uh, then I'll get to cracking the grain. There's the grain bill right there. Already all measured out for me. And no measuring out any specialty grains. Super simple. Alright. Uh, shooting for a little higher of a mesh temperature today, about 154. Um, Want to try and capture the character of this grain. One thing I can tell you is uh, when you're putting the water into your mash tun after you've done all your calculations, I find it's better to always kind of shoot a little bit high um, rather than try and hit yourself dead on because you can always let the strike water cool down in the mash tun before you add the grain. So, um, you know, it's harder to heat it up once it's in the cooler if you use a cooler mash tun. There's the first runnings. Really pale and actually coming out really clear, even without any recirculating yet. Circulating the second runnings. I'm doing the batch sparge with two sparges today, or in split batches, I guess you'd call it. Second batch sparge. And there's our third runnings. Again, going to recirculate about a gallon. And we really only need about two more gallons in the kettle, so we'll probably leave a little bit behind in the mash there. Using hot bags today. Uh, I got an ounce and a half of Cascade for bittering and two ounces of Cascade, uh, which is gonna go in at 10 minutes for finishing. So I'm gonna toss these in right now. Even though I'm not quite at a boil yet, but whatever, get them going. We're gonna do a 90 minute boil today. All right, we got uh, 10 minutes left in the boil. Let's see, we've gone down in volume quite a bit. And here goes the 10 minute addition. And there it goes. We ended up at about 10.54 for our OG. All right, and finally I'm gonna pitch the yeast. I'm gonna do a clean pitch of Nottingham today. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.